the last council to, to have our say, and uh, I have to applaud him for that. So uh, that's one off. Well, you'll, no you'll one notice, one Harry, that I'm, I'm not being too, too strict tonight. So <laughs> it's just it's just a, a guideline for us this evening. Thank you. Well, not so much, Harry. Uh, the elevator. There are so many people working four hours, no benefits. And having to pay 126 right now is a hardship on people. And having to pay another increase is very hard. I hope the TTC will consider it. Number two, when will the subway at Pips be fixed? It has been so many, almost three years now. I am handicapped. I have to go down 40 stairs in the morning. So most times I have to go to Broadview subway to get the elevator so I can get down to work. And when the escalator is not working, I have to go to another subway station and come back to go home. And this is a real hardship. Number three, there are so many buses coming into the subway at Pape, Broadview, Kennedy, not in service, especially in the rush hour. Yesterday, 45 minutes at, at, at Pape subway. I was so frustrated, I walked from Pape Subway to Thorncliffe Park, and this is unacceptable. I mean, you don't mind a bus coming on, but when you see four or five, I would like you to come to the subways for yourself and see on a evening. Just come unexpected, especially even at Broadway Subway, and just see for yourself. Even in the morning, you're waiting for a bus, because on our route, we lost four buses. So imagine waiting in the morning. If you miss one bus, you're lucky you get another bus in 15 minutes, three or four, out of service, out of service. I have one more question. Okay, thanks. Why is a full train in rush hour asked to leave the train at Shepherd and Lawrence because the train is going out of service? You know what happened to me and I should build TTC? I had a doctor's appointment and because of that I was late I was billed for being late because the train, everybody had to come off the train to go to service and one did not come for 15 minutes. Is there any way that something like that could be resolved so that people know another train is behind coming in 5-10 minutes as opposed to waiting for 15-20 minutes and there is no train? And my last question, there was a marathon with the Bank of Nova Scotia sometime in October. At Pape Subway, there was no buses going south because of the marathon. I had to walk from Pape Subway to Gerald Square. And I feel in a situation like that, they should have buses making short turn from Pape to the bottom of Carla, at least some, some sort of a situation where people could get by and able to know if there is a problem, TPC should make an announcement.